Civic is way easier to see on though. That's way more. Better. Way more clear. So we just got out of Andrew's truck. Andrew's putting his filter back on. <clears throat> Stock truck intake, you know, 635 wheel basically. Well, 640 wheel torque because it's got a TBSS and a pretty mild mannered cam because he only has a 3000 stall, so we didn't get crazy. Enough. I'd like to hopefully soon in the future we can get a fucking freaking intake on this. <laughs> we can put a fast LSXHR on it. Like we had on bet, our trucks? I bet you it picks up 50 up top. It'll definitely RPM a lot better. I mean, it only peaks at 50, 600 RPM, so just the long runners that intake and the mild cam. But yeah, short runner fast would, like, the curve would keep going. It wouldn't taper off. It would just keep climbing up and up and up, so the RPM gain would be the horsepower difference in itself. Like with yours, when I pick up, like, 30 wheel, it's yeah. just because it went, like, 700 RPM higher. So give everyone <clears> a rundown <throat> on what you guys did, because we see the big intercooler, but we haven't done a video on it yet. All right. Oh, it's kind of warm. A little bit. I should let it cool down again. We're just spraying it with nitrous. Spray it with nitrous, yeah. Just fog it real quick. Well, it's out of fuel, so it's not do that. Just burn it down? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to fix it. <laughs> no, neither. So, not this time. What do we got? Torque storm. We did a torque storm. Um, Andrew, Andrew's having his baby, and they sent him a bill. For thirty five hundred bucks, he's like, I could either pay this doctor bill or I could buy a torque storm. So he bought a torque storm. It was a great choice. That's what. So that was the best choice. Absolutely. Yeah. So when you sell that thing on the black market, mm -hmm. I mean, you're gonna recoup all your money. And then more truck parts. More there you truck go. Parts, more truck I think, parts. I think babies are going like used for like twenty grand on the black market. <laughs> Probably a little better. <laughs> Might even be more. Find a nice Asian family and blend right in. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, back to Andrew Stark Storm. Yeah, it's pretty cool, you know. Made um, 473 before, so it's up 160 rear wheel horsepower. So that's pretty good. On we don't even know what boost it is because we're still running the stock map sensor and no boost gauge because this cheap bastard doesn't like buying anything <laughs> unless it's like he's like is the boost gauge gonna make more horsepower and i'm like no he's like nope, no i'm not, not buying it not buying it <laughs> map sensor will make more power nope okay i'm nope. not buying it yeah. that's funny intake will make more power intakes the go-to for probably sure. gonna buy it yeah we, we gotta think we I had one know. here but somebody waited i know right it's my fault yeah that thing's a little long waited it's awesome. So, just to recap of Andrew's complete setup, so, because we talked about his truck, I mean, how many videos ago? It was a while ago. It was a while ago. So, I haven't really done nothing with it. Just give him a recap of what you got, what all is in there. Bought the truck as a 4.8 with a stage 3 BTR truck cam, built 4L80, um, sold the 4.8 out of it. Kenny built me this 383, about 11 to 1 compression, still running the same trans. 3000 stall converter uh, made 470 ish wheel horse on e85 on motor and then we did some converter testing for circle d a couple months ago and it made 409 ish on 93 so got a hold of chris and the guys at torque storm they hooked me up pretty good on this kit um Sent me the whole kit, basically bolt right on. I'll find what clips I do have, and we'll try and put them in this video. Um, had to do a little bit of tweaking, a couple things, but finally got the belt to stay on. Good clearances on everything. Betty won't go do donuts in the parking lot after this. Probably not, because the tires have a lot of wire showing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, can you blow the tire out, tear your bed side up, <laughs> not be able to sell the bed and not have a bed. So, yeah, um, 3D3 was fun on motor, decided to want more, put a torque storm on it, better than a turbo. Um, oh, I, shit, I, that's fire, fighting I'll, words, I'll better than a turbo. 
Them truck turbo guys are gonna be on his ass. Truck turbo guys already hate me, yeah. but ain't none of them beat me in the red truck. <laughs> They're gonna be always like, "What? Well, if you give me a half mile, I'll beat you up there." And I'm like, "Well, let's, let's race on the street. Let's let's race doing donuts. Whose exhaust sounds the best? <laughs> Not a turbo truck. Andrew's truck sounds bad." Now we put those tailpipes on it. Yeah, way better. Go, yeah, ahead, and go ahead and fire it up. Walk over there. Forgot about that. Exhaust sounds awesome. Okay, good luck in through there. Yeah, the what the, the shafts is. Yeah, you just got shit everywhere. Yes. Shit everywhere. Look at this. You got superchargers for days in here. Ellis Wand, supercharged. Cool. Well, they said nitrous was. So also back to the exhaust when we did the 383 installed it kenny spent a few days uh dyno testing just in free time spare time whatever you want to call it um testing between the y pipe the x pipe tail pipes no tail pipes x pipe no x pipe um he built me a really nice stainless exhaust for it uh true duels all the way back to an x pipe um as close to equal length as we could go without spending a bunch of time on it. Um, just stuff we had here. And their dual speed engineering mufflers right before the axle. Sounded really good, has a nice deep tone to it, but wanted to hear the cam a little better and bring it out from underneath the truck. So Kenny built me this. Bolts right on. Um, just clamps right onto the mufflers, can be taken off really fast if needed to. So, yeah, let's start up, let's give some rows. on those superchargers is bad. It sounds really cool. I'm very happy with it. It's exactly what I wanted. Did it about a weekend. So that was cool. And now here we are. So if somebody else was gonna go do this, would you say anybody with mechanical knowledge could put some one of those on or do they need to take it to a shop? I mean, I would take it to a shop. The bolt in the blower on itself isn't bad at all. Um, they send you an information booklet, all the bolts, and brackets, everything you need. Bolt and blower on is the easy part. Um, you, if you run the better dampener, which I did, the ETI dampener, um, you have to remove the factory balancer, install that one, pin the crank, and then the intercooler and all the piping, that's all custom. I mean, not that it's hard work, but it's just a lot of people might not know how to do it. Yeah. Um, this thing, it's not perfect by any means, so I just cut the headlight buckets out. So that way everything will still fit, but just to make clearance for the piping, because it does have the larger factory style radiator with the factory style fans. Um, that tan truck we did a couple, well, last year now, um, had the smaller stock radiator with aftermarket um, electric fans. So I had a lot more room in this area on both sides. But we made it work with minimal uh, removal of everything. The battery still fits, PCM still in its factory location. Moved the trans cooler down right into the bumper, deleted the AC. Um, didn't work all the time anyway and I don't really need it so 
this kit will fit 100% with the stock AC. Um, had to do a little bit of tweaking with the heater hose lines and just a couple small things that you don't necessarily have to do, but I chose to do. Um, I plan on cleaning the engine bay up even more yet as we go on. Um, I just wanted to get it running and get some numbers. So. Hell yeah. What's Kenny got working on over here? Same stuff. I can't finish anything because I get too distracted throughout the day. Like today, I got jerked in about 350,000 directions. So little sneak peek. I started polishing the trailer and you see where all three panels I got done on that. Yeah. I got two more done since then. So. Yeah, that was a good time. But. What's up, dude? We got visitors, so we'll let you guys go. Like, subscribe, follow. Keep track of Andrew's truck. He'll be racing it this year, so. It'll be a good time. I'm really excited to, uh, I'm glad I got the engine in last year before uh, Boyne and Thunder on the Strip down in Gladwin. So I did get to do a little bit of racing with it to compare to this year with the blower and whatnot. So we'll definitely yeah, have some more videos. I wouldn't compare this year to last year because you're just going to spin this year. Down on Gladwin and Boyne, you're just going to spin. You're going to take it to a, a couple trip. really good passes at Gladwin, but their time clock thing wasn't working so i have no idea what it ran yes yeah, so uh it's, it's got more, sucked it spun a lot it's got more power this year we're, we're gonna have so to go to drag trips we're gonna have to go to the track like, this year and well we went last year but somebody bailed anyways we're gonna let andrew go because we don't want to keep coming or talking about his shortcomings so bye andrew bye guys we'll see you next time